To celebrate NADOC week, I want to share with you a little bit about the artwork that's on this Nescafe tin and also the story behind its artwork and its creation. The story is everything. For Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island people, uh, story is how our culture is kept alive, that our, our language, our system of law, our society. In the building of a foundation for a painting, story is so critical because story becomes the basis of what you create. <laughs> So the first element was I wrote a poem which tied into Nescafe's tagline which it starts with this and so I, I built a poem around my memories sitting with my grandparents, sitting with my family, you know, drinking coffee about how everything starts with this. There's nothing more sacred than the sun's first kiss. The warmth, the steam, the flavour, it all starts with this. I long for the memories of the time with you. Your wisdom is captured in everything that I do. It's the song and the sound of the land that I seem to miss. But the memories live when it all starts with this. Empty tins were priceless on the land. They kept things clean, not covered in sand. Unforgettable aroma that will never fade away. Anything valuable would live in the tin, hidden, stored and away. If we were crossing the rivers, those tins would always be near. Empty tins were almost as valuable as our hunting spear. The tins kept memories that are etched into my heart. And this is how every day should start. With our artwork, it's, it's not like we can paint whatever we want. Um, we have to use these stories that are directly attached to our, to our family. And it is that families have, you know, cultural responsibilities to certain aspects of our traditional law, our jungle. When I was developing the piece of artwork with Nescafe, you know, the, like Japana, the, the sunrise is one of the really important, you know, sort of aspects of my family story. And so how do I place that sunrise into a story about, you know, the coffee? Well, it was, it was very simple because to me, the nostalgic memory of drinking the coffee was just as we were preparing, you know, to go out and muster cattle for the day, the sun would be rising, we would be drinking coffee, we would be, you know, sitting around this fire. And so I was able just to, you know, bring up a traditional story of the Japana, of the sunrise, which is a direct obligation or responsibility to my family, and then place it into a piece of artwork that would, could be contextualized into what I was building or capturing for Nescafe. I have no idea what a painting is going to look like until it's finished. I paint the background and sometimes I paint the background 10 times and I paint over the top and I build on top of it and I redo it and I, you know, people have, have said why do you put so much work into the, into the background when you never see the background but the foundation of the painting helps build the direction of where the art goes. I don't sketch anything, I don't I don't have any idea about where that final dot's going to fall, and I don't have any idea where the first dot's going to where the first the first dot's going to begin. I don't have an image at all in my mind about what this painting is going to look like. It really is a is a blank canvas, and that blank canvas will become a painting through the means that I use of you know connection to culture and telling a story. So the stencils of the hands are based around our relationship to those stencils that you often see in rock paintings. Those stencils represent our ancestors, so a connection to a time before us. In the actual painting, I used my daughter's hands, so it was her hands that were stenciled as the background of the painting. Having my daughter's hands in the painting allowed her to be part of the story. And I think that's always been the, the case with my kids, is about allowing them to be part of it um, allowing them to learn through, you know, through oral teaching so they would sit around with me as I was painting. But, you know, the dots, the reason why we use our, the dots in our artwork up in the north uh, or North Queensland region is replicating a pattern of the rain, that when the rain falls on the dry sand in the middle, in the rainforest or on the beach, uh, it leaves these very intricate dot patterns 
And so we've always used the dots as, as a, a symbol of how the rain falls on our skin when we're walking through the rainforest or how it falls on the land when, it, when the rain is falling. In that story, I have the dots that are representative of the Mary River, which runs through Gympie. I have the dots that are representative of the sun rising um, over, the, over that Gympie region and the rolling hills of Gympie. I um, was able to discreetly include uh, the accent that, that belongs to Nescafe in piece of the painting. Colour is reflective of what we see in the land and so that I wanted to create a piece of artwork that was connected to the earth, that was connected to the land, that was connected to the environment and reflective of that environment. And so I use the oranges and the yellows and the reds which connect a memory for me about you know, the sunrise, that connect a memory about the land and the landscape. The river that runs through Gympie is detailed in, in the bluish colour. This was about having red earth tones and tones that were directly related to that environment and to my own direct memories of drinking the coffee. Companies like Nestle, they're playing a role by allowing Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people to tell a story within the frameworks of, of business. So the moment that um, the artwork got placed on the tin, it gave us an ability to tell a story and take those stories into the lives of not just their, their staff, but also the families or the lives of all the people that have these tins in, within their their homes and so all of this is playing a huge role in, in the reconciliation and it really gives Aboriginal people a feeling of worth within these businesses as well and that's a critical thing. <laughs> There's a bloopers. And how do you take your coffee?